Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Welcome to today's live. Hopefully it's gonna be short and sweet. I'm feeling like a little rant here. Um, whenever I approach a woman and ask how they're doing, whether it's a friend, a stranger, an acquaintance, I would willing to bet the house, I'd be willing to bet the house that they would say something to the effect of busy, crazy busy, Oh, it's so hectic, just running around, something to that effect. I mean, we as modern day women wear the busy badge of honor. And it's crazy to me because it's sort of this double-edged sword. Like in one breath, it's like we're so frustrated, right? And we're so um, just angst because we're always so busy. But yet on the other hand, it's like we believe that we can't be productive. We can't, you know, be super mom. We can't be the perfect wife, the whatever, if we're not constantly running around crazy busy. So this is such a silly little <laughs> story, but I have to share. And it's not so much with saying no, but it has more to do with doing less and just prioritizing your time. Today was my daughter's three-year-old, um, it was her Thanksgiving feast of preschool today, right? And some of the moms know what I do. So it's just assumed like anytime there's some sort of like gathering where we're uh, it's a potluck and we're bringing our own food, then I'm going to be bringing this like super creative, wonderful, delicious dish. And I have to be honest, it does not spark any sense of joy in my soul. Like if it were a group of friends that were coming over and I planned this and I'm prepping dinner like of course that stuff lights me up but you know bringing a side dish for Thanksgiving for 25 three-year-olds and their parents it's not spark and joy down here so what did I opt for a case of water because I'm gonna hydrate some kids that's what I'm gonna do on their Thanksgiving feast so like I give you that example because even though I love to cook and and food is such a part of my life in that particular situation I knew when to draw the line. Doing less in that particular instance was prioritizing my time, was prioritizing my stress level, my anxiety, my overwhelm, that I know um, with the schedule that we have as a family, what would have ensued. It would have come down to either me cramming it in late last night or honestly even doing it this morning while I'm also trying to pack lunches and get the kids out of the door. I knew intrinsically it was going to cause more stress for myself. So what do you need to say no to? Because listen, I grew up as a people pleaser and it has not been until as of late that I have learned to say more, to say no more and more and it feels so freaking good. And here's the crazy part. You know, as a people pleaser, when we are, um, approached with these offers and these questions and, and these opportunities, so often we have this fear and or guilt when it comes to saying yes and or no that um, it, it, it just renders us sort of useless. Like we, we just cave. We always feel like we need to take more on because A, it's cool to be busy, right? Busy means you're being a super mom. Not true. But we have trouble because we always want to please other people or we have a fear of these people thinking us of less than because we're not saying no or we're going to be hurting someone's feelings or we're going to be letting them down or we're just feeling guilty because that's what people do, right? People, you have to say yes. You have to feel needed. We got to just knock this crap out, ladies. I mean, you have to be more protective of your own time. So here's what I do. Now when I'm asked to go to an event or a party or help out with, uh, you know, cooking something or with something at church or something at, um, you know, my jujitsu academy or something with the girls in their school and volunteering, I first have to have an honest, like, <laughs> you know, check in with myself and say, First of all, is this going to bring me joy? Is this something that I even want to do? Is it something that is necessary that I do? Is it something I can delegate to somebody else? And 
you know, is it something that is truly um, important to me and or the other person? So, you know, this is going to vary in every situation. And, I, and hopefully you understand that maybe your elderly grandmother asking you to cook her a meal versus volunteering, you know, to cut papers at your kid's school. We have to weigh every situation differently. But my hope and point of this quick live is that you can start saying no more often in your life to things that really are okay to just let go. You don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to please everyone. And we need to let go of this fear and guilt that always um, you know, tend to come up for us around these situations. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, I just want you to be less stressed. I want you to be less overwhelmed and less anxious so that you can show up for yourself and for your family in all the ways that, uh, that they need you and that you need you. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and uh, I'll look forward. Hopefully, we, we won't be doing a live on Thanksgiving um, next Thursday, but maybe I'll pop in before that, and uh, I'd love to give you guys some suggestions for this upcoming Thanksgiving. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you soon.